We're here at Volo. You've just gotten your kite pump. It's going to come in a box like this. You're going to open the box up. You'll have two pieces inside. You'll have the Volo inflator and you'll have the tank. Now, when you get it, the tank will be empty. You'll take the tank and you'll have it filled at any sporting goods store or a welding supply store and they'll fill it with CO2. You give it to them like this and they'll give it back to you like this. You won't take anything off. Never put a wrench to this, ta to this tank. This tank is to stay like this with this valve on it at all times. <clears throat> Once you come back with your tank, you're ready to go. You take your inflator and you take the tank and as simple as this, you screw on the inflator. You'll hear it to start to activate. At that point, continue screwing it down until it seals off. That means the tank is activated and you're ready to start pumping. To pump it, just grab in your hand as you naturally would a, a, a water pistol, a garden hose, and you pull back on the nozzle. By pulling back on the nozzle, it activates the, the regulator to allow the air to escape. <clears throat> um, as you're filling, you always hold the tank upright like this. You never turn it up like this. If you turn it up like this, you're going to get uh, half the fills. Because what you'll have is you'll have the liquid CO2 coming out the nozzle. And you don't want that. You just want the, the air and the gas coming out. <clears throat> Always fill with it upright. You've All right, so you've got your tank filled up and you've got your inflator. Once again, go ahead and fasten the inflator to the tank. We'll pass the hissing. Approach the kite. Approach the kite from either side. When we're uh, used to approaching it from this side. Just grab the nipple, come up to the nipple, put the nozzle to it. And there you have it. Once you're done, always remove from the tank and then put it down. Now when you're finished filling the kite you always want to detach or take the inflator off of the tank in case there's some uh, piece of sand or something in there it's not filled all the way down or there's some small leakage you always take the inflator off to make sure that you maintain and uh, conserve your CO2 as much as possible and then to do that you just break it down you'll see that little hissing and then uh, you're fine to go And that's all there is to it. Good luck. Have fun. More kiting.